Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You. And today I thought I'd bring you guys a really quick grocery haul from Walmart. So if you watched my last video, I did a very large grocery haul of about $300 and I thought it would last us two weeks, but it's actually lasting longer than just the two weeks. So my next grocery haul, I think I want to go to Trader Joe's. So I just picked up a couple of things so we can empty out some of the things in the refrigerator and the freezer and then there'll be space for the Trader Joe's haul. Right now, I'm just gonna bring you a few things that I got from Walmart just to help us to make it through. And if that sounds like something that interests you, then let's get to it. So first and foremost, I did do a grocery haul midweek this week. Um, and I usually was trying to wait until two weeks and then go back again, but I did go to the grocery store just to Aldi to pick up some fresh fruits and fresh, fresh vegetables that we needed as well as some more eggs. And we always run out of eggs, I feel like around here. I'll get three dozen and we're out very shortly because everybody eats eggs here. And then I bake and cook with them as well. I had already picked up extra eggs and extra fruits and vegetables. So these are just a couple of things from Walmart to help us to get through, as well as a couple of specialty things that I wanted to try. Okay, first and foremost, let's start with these. Um, I have been loving these Clio bars. Everybody knows about them. However, the Walmart that's close to my house doesn't offer Clio bars. So I have to kind of drive a little bit of a distance. Um, and it's not that far. It's maybe like a 20 minute ride from my house. Uh, but I wanted to get some weighted jump ropes for myself and my son, which I also bought those. And we're gonna practice jump roping in the driveway in the evenings. And so while I went to that special Walmart to get those weighted jump ropes because my Walmart was out of them, I saw that they had the Clio bar, so I picked up three strawberry Clio bars. So that's the first thing. And these are six points each. I really wish I had the less sugar ones, but I just don't wanna, I'm not the person who likes to get things delivered. I wanna get it on the ground. So if I can't find it on the ground, I just won't buy it most times. So that's the first thing I got. And then for the kids, I got my son who's at home from school, some blue Takis, he loves these. I don't eat them, so I don't have a, a point value with them. However, this is another thing that I bought. It's by Oots and it's called Hoop Mix. And for three fourths of a cup of this, it is five points. And it has inside of it tortilla chips, barbecue corn chips, um, basketball shaped pretzels and cheese crunchies. I'll be eating some. <laughs> uh, let's see, the other thing that I got for the kids that I probably won't partake in is these Little Bites Crumb Cakes. Um, that sounds like something that I would absolutely love. However, one pouch of the little five cakes that's inside of a pouch is 10 points. And I just can't see myself spending two points on a little bitty crumb cake. I just can't do it. Uh, let's see what else I got. I got some cheese. But before I show you the cheese, let me show you this. I picked up one of these mini waffle makers. I've been wanting to get that, either a Dash or a Nostalgia. The brand really didn't matter to me. Um, and so I wanna try a couple of recipes with that. Actually, as soon as I get done filming this, I'm about to go make me a chaffle. Um, But I also picked up some Mexican Cheddar Jack cheese. And then I picked up a bag of fat-free cheddar to mix with it. I'm not really a fat-free cheddar girl, but I'm gonna try it with the chaffle. I think I'm gonna make a buffalo chicken chaffle and post it to my Instagram. So if you're interested, head over to my Instagram because you'll probably see the post there. The other thing I bought only because I wanna use this new waffle maker is some Simply Potato Shredded Hash Browns. I usually buy the Orida Frozen ones, but um, I like the way these taste as well. A half a cup of these though is two points versus a cup and a fourth of the Orida is two points. But I figure a half a cup should be enough mixed with the egg and some kind of bacon to make a chaffle in that little bitty waffle maker. So I just went with it. I also picked up some of these Butterball um, Turkey Breakfast Sausage Patties. Two patties is two points. So they're one point per patty and they are really, really good. I like most of the Butterball Sausage items. I picked up some diced jalapeno peppers because I'm gonna put that in my buffalo chicken chaffle. 
I picked up some Taco Bell hot sauce because I seem to can never find the bottle of fire sauce. It's only a dollar and it's always out. So whenever I see it, I go ahead and get a bottle because we love it on our tacos. I picked up some hamburger buns because I did buy some thinly sliced chicken breasts, which would be zero points. And then if I put on a hamburger bun and take it like for lunch, that would be a good lunch option. And I haven't used those chicken breasts yet. These are only three points per bun. This is the Great Value brand. I also like the Healthy Life buns. However, they're only sold at Kroger in my area and I don't wanna go to Kroger just specifically to get those buns. So if I make it over there, I pick them up. But if I don't, I just go for the Great Value brand. One extra point won't kill me. I got two packages of La Banderita carb counter tortillas. Um, they had a coupon and th here's another coupon on this one. Buy two packs and get a dollar off. So I went ahead and bought the two packs and took a dollar off. We use those for quesadillas, like buffalo chicken quesadillas, regular quesadillas with just plain cheese. Also, I use them for burritos or tacos. They're kind of large taco size, but they did have a new taco size La Banderita carb counter tortilla at Walmart. However, they were one point per tortilla. And so is this large one. Why wouldn't I go for the large one? And the little one is only 35 calories. I think this one's 45 calories. So they're pretty similar in calorie count, but this one's almost double the size. So I just bought two large packs. And I also picked up some more sugar-free applesauce. So this one is the Granny Smith flavor. And I really like this one. It is really sour. I like that taste. And I picked up another one of the blueberry kind, sugar-free, no sugar added blueberry applesauce. My son really liked this one and he asked me to pick up more. And then I also got one avocado. I think that's pretty much it. Other than that, I got some Ziploc bags so that I can put the, the um, snack packs into Ziploc bags, the snack size bag. I got these snack size bags and I'm going to separate the Takis as well as the little chip mix into snack size bags so that they'll be ready to go already portioned out. I usually portion them into snack size bags and then put all the snack size bags back into the empty big bag so the kids can just reach down in there and grab one and they're already portioned and ready to go. So I'm gonna do that as well. And that is it for this grocery haul, it's pretty short. The only other thing that I got was cat food, cat litter, cat treats. You guys don't need to see all that, do you? <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much it for this time. Next grocery haul, expect a grocery haul from um, Trader Joe's because I've been wanting to go to Trader Joe's and stock up, but when I go there, I need freezer space, which means we got to get to eating some of this food I bought from last time, so there'll be plenty of space for this time. The other thing is, don't forget, if you're interested, sign up for my Fetch Rewards. I earn additional points and so do you. And I already scanned this receipt. There wasn't much in it. So it was a 25 points is what I earned. Um, but I'm up to like, I think 17 or 18,000 points, which is like 17 or $18 worth of gift cards. And all I've been doing is just scanning what I have. I've not even gotten anyone a referral link under me or anything like that. I'm just literally scanning what I'm purchasing. And I've already made it up to um, 17,000 points. I'll put the link down below. It's free to sign up. They only use your email. They don't use you, any of your personal information except for your name and your email. And the gift cards are actually emailed to you. You select which gift cards you would like. So I'll put that information down below if you're interested, but that's it for this little short grocery haul. And like I said, look forward to the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps this video to be suggested to others who might need some of this information as well. I appreciate you guys for watching. Take care. Go straight to the Clio bar. Mm. It's been too long.